The Dagu Glacier in China's Sichuan Province lies 4,800 meters above sea level. Like many other glaciers on the Tibetan Plateau, the effects of climate change are visible to the human eye. The present area is only one third of what it was in the 1970s. It has decreased from 6.8 square kilometers in 1975 to 1.7 square kilometers in 2017. But its scientists are hoping to significantly slow the melting process by putting a blanket or geotextile on the outer edge of the Dagu Glacier. Ta 把这些数据都验证的数据都能拿到，然后看看这个能不能探索出这样的一条这个延缓这个消融的这样一条可行之径。The world has started to bend the greenhouse gas emission curve by rapid adoption of clean energy. In 2014, the scientific group Climate Action Tracker predicted global temperatures would increase by 4 degrees Celsius by the end of this century. The current mitigation measures agreed on in the 2015 Paris Agreement on Climate Change may be able to bring that down to 3 degrees Celsius. But does it go far enough? While world leaders continue to debate on technicalities like what counts as a carbon credit, the Dagu Glacier is melting at an alarming pace. This is not the first time people have tried to shield glaciers from rising global temperatures. Countries like Switzerland and Germany have also covered melting glaciers on their mountain ranges with geotextiles with varying degrees of success. The physics behind this is simple. The blanket reflects the sun's heat radiation away from the glacier itself. It also provides insulation for the ice but cost-effectiveness and its potential impact on local environments are major obstacles for mass deployment. To deploy the protective layer on a large scale, experts suggest they will need more thorough testing on the glaciers itself. But they also said that if humans do not act to reduce greenhouse gas emission as soon as possible, the film alone could not stop the glaciers from receding further. 也就是降温性的我们有所提升之外我们同时兼顾了它在实际使用中的这些耐久性能对这个事情的看法我觉得这个就说的大一点就是说如何将这个科学的实验用这个一些取得的数据和结果和让大众来唤起大众对这个冰川现在快速融化的这样的一个公众意识对吧 In 2020, China announced it would aim to reach a peak in its carbon dioxide emissions before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. But until the world can reach a climate deal, saving the world's glaciers remains an uphill battle.